Set within this quiet cul-de-sac up in Caversham Heights is this three double bedroom detached house. The house has a driveway with a garage, front garden and a path that leads to the front door. We come through the front door, come into the, to the inner porch. So there's a amount of storage, space in here for coats, etc. And then we have a door through into the hallway. Um, there's a big bookcase here and then downstairs loo with a sink and a window, stairs going up to upstairs, and that's a door into the kitchen. And then uh, we have a door going into the living room, which has a really nice bay, double glazed bay window to the front. Ample space for a dining table, it's parquet wood flooring, two double glazed windows to the side, and then double glazed patio doors going into the garden. There is an ornamental fireplace there. And then we have a, a door that goes into, into the kitchen there. So a nice, nice view of the room from this angle. And then we will go into the kitchen. So we've got, again, a really good, nice size, bright kitchen with really good sized windows overlooking the garden. Um, there is uh, space for a washing machine, um, oven hob and extractor, and with a sink, plenty of kitchen work units, a little breakfast bar there, and a fridge freezer, space for the fridge freezer, and then there is a really good size sort of understairs larder. There's a door there that goes out into the garden. We will go back out into the hallway, go upstairs and then go into the garden afterwards. So we're back it, go back in, back up the stairs. So double glazed window to the side and then we come in to a really good size landing. There is loft access here with a loft ladder, plenty of storage. Um, on the left hand side is a modern bathroom. This has a chrome heated towel rail sink, the mixer tap, wall mounted shower and um, shower off the bath um, and then plenty of vanity units um, for storage and a double glazed window that is overlooking the garden. Um, there is a separate WC upstairs and then we have a cupboard here We've got a bit of storage which has the boiler and the hot water cylinder. And then we go into three, three bedrooms. So we go into the second bedroom which is overlooking the garden. It's a, again a really nice sized double bedroom. Um, for the rentals it will come with the double bed and the, um, the dresser. Um, but there is also a fitted wardrobe over over there and again you have a really good size window double glazed window that's overlooking a very nice attractive garden and the house isn't overlooked from the back at all let's have a quick look into the cupboard so there's plenty of space there in the uh, the cupboard for storage and then we'll go back out into the landing and we'll go into the main main bedroom which is a really good sized double bedroom again. Um, and this is overlooking the front. So we've got the, um, the dresser, the bed, and the two side tables and the lamp that's there and a big double glazed window overlooking the front. And again, there is fitted really good storage in here. Have a quick look out there out the front and then we'll go back out into the uh, onto the landing plenty of space there and we come into the third bedroom which again is a double bedroom um, so you've got the, the double bed little side tables 
um, and some storage units and again there's a good size fitted storage cupboard and we've got two double glazed windows here overlooking the front. If we go back downstairs we will then go and come and have a quick look in the garden. So back down the stairs and we can let's go back through the living room. Then we can go out through the patio doors into the garden which as you can see is a little bit of a sun trap so there is a nice paved patio area and the garden is mainly laid to lawn with sort of shrub borders there is side access it's down to the side and the storage cupboard and then there is a door here um, which will take you into the garage um, should you need to have access and we go back into the garden we go down go for a little potter down to the end and then we can have a look and see what the house looks like from the back so you get a nice view and then you can see just what the uh, what it's like sort of with the with the neighbors Wonderful.